got a bathroom door here that swings in and they want to convert it to swing out because the space is so small and just for safety concerns it's best for that door to swing out so I'm gonna attach it here on this uh, part of the jam and have it swing into the the bedroom here so I want to change the this door to, to swing outward instead of inward so I'm going to change the hinge and uh, I'm going to use two tools I'm going to use this uh, utility knife and a Japanese pool saw to do it there's a lot of ways you could do it I'm just using these because it's only I uh, only got two of these hinges to cut and it's a pretty nice day outside and so I've removed the screws got the old hinge out now the new hinge I want to uh, orient in that fashion there and since I've got a chip out here I think I'm gonna put it to that side so the first thing I'm gonna do is just mark where I need to cut it And I can use my knife for that. And so I'm going to re be removing all of this area here and all of that. And I'm going to use the Japanese pull saw here to quickly get that down. This saw only cuts in the when you're pulling it just by the, the way the teeth are uh, are designed. So it gives you a pretty good control over the cut. Now I'll switch over to this knife here and I'm just going to shave that down. I'm actually using my thumb as the, uh, the force against the back of the knife and not my hand. Uh, that way uh, if I was using my hand it could slip and cut, cut me. But just the thumb it really can't push very far. So I'm using it to uh, get a lot of control. You can see when it slips it doesn't go very far. And I can use the knife to get that down pretty flush with the existing mortar mortise I mean. Same here, I've switched hands and I'm just using the thumb to push the blade. I'm going to switch to the Japanese pull saw again and pull it. Bulk of that off of there. You can see I'm holding down on the blade. close there. Now I'll switch back to this uh, blade and, and shave it down. And this is a Luan uh, door so it's uh, 
pretty easy to cut. It's basically a plywood door and the wood is not very hard. old paint build up there. Get rid of that. And I'm going to test fit the hinge here. And that's a pretty good fit. I can just run the screws in there and have that done. So after a few trial fits, I uh, decided uh, that's where the hinge needs to be. And so I scribed it with this uh, utility knife here. Now I'm gonna use a chisel and cut that out. 